So I have a, uh, a pretty long drive today. I'm doing a big trip, but I got out and decided to stretch my legs and kind of use the bathroom at this rest stop. This is a really cool rest stop though, believe it or not. Like you walk up the ramp and then there's all these little, little shelters you can hang out in. You can totally just stop here, have lunch or whatever, but these are the views from it. Pretty nice. So this is the, uh, I don't know, the third or fourth women's historical marker that I've seen on my travels throughout New Mexico. Doña Ufima, rallying women to defend Northern Territory since 1598. So I actually drove uh, quite a bit out of my way from what I was originally gonna do today, but for the best possible reason. Obviously to see a T-Rex and a big boy. Just kidding, it was to take a selfie with an alien. Just kidding, it was to see an alien, a KFC bucket with chili, a robot holding a hamburger, Yogi the bear holding a hamburger, a pig or Robin Hood. Just kidding, it was to eat at Sparky's, but they were closed today. So I'm not even sure that I told you guys where I'm at, but I'm in Deming today. And every time that I go somewhere new, especially like a town like this, like a small town, I always like to stop into museums that they may have. Like this one's free, you just walk in. You know, I, I put five bucks in the donation box, but it's free. So I always like to walk into a museum and check it out because you can get a lot of history of the town. And Deming was like an old railroad town. So um, I'm just checking it out. I'm in the doll room right now. <laughs> there's, she said there's over 760 dolls in here. Um, I don't really like dolls all that much, but I'm gonna check out the whole museum since I came. Even though I don't like dolls very much, I mean, things like this, this is all history. This one here is a wooden doll, and it was made in 1911. So they have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, apparently. Um, and it looks like this one was made in what, 1939. Yeah, pictures of like prominent families in the area. There's like whole collages, like each one of these is a different family. These trip me out because those are bells that they used to call slaves with. Whoa, check out this cash register. And they have a mountain bell telephone switchboard with a super creepy mannequin. They have a replica of the courthouse, which is actually like right outside. I'll show you guys. No way. They have an iron lung from the Holy Cross Sanatorium. That is absolutely insane to see one of those things. That one for the babies. The nuns at Holy Cross Sanatorium wore something like this, it says. That's an x-ray machine. 1650. That's how old that Bible is. This is a Playboy magazine, written in braille. <laughs> I was looking at this 45, I think I scared me. Santa working on the engine here. So here's the courthouse, which is what they had the replica of in the museum. I love checking out little museums like that because they have like not only the town's history, but they have like, that museum is basically curated and put together by people who live in this town. So it's like their personal belongings that get donated. So you run into random things. So they had like the, uh, the military room and they had that, uh, uh, helmet that the kids were wearing in Nazi Germany. That's a pretty crazy thing to see. Um, so you, you never know what you're gonna run into. She told me that they had like the largest Mimbres pottery collection outside of the Smithsonian Museum there, just randomly in, in Deming. Um, pretty cool. I mean, that's that stuff is pretty neat and that's something that you don't always get to experience. So I always like to check out the towns. This is what I came out here for. 
Hello? This is an abandoned school. And it really doesn't feel all that abandoned, but it's all boarded up on the outside. Like they just up and left one day. Hello? The lights are still on, but if you check it out, I mean, so it's really, really weird because there's so much, I mean, there's like water, the lights are on, but you can see like glass has been broken. And most of it is boarded up. Find some lights in here. So there is a, a rumors of this place being haunted. I'll have to check into more of those. I wanted to get in here and check it out really quickly. Kind of do a little walk through, if you will. And then I'm gonna read up about it and see about maybe doing some ghost type stuff. Check it out though. Here's a baseball glove on the stage. All these chairs tipped over. Go turn the lights off as I leave. Leave everything as I found it. That window on the outside says turn back. bathroom don't even have a shower here's that silent hill moment for you Shop class. Let's see, hold on. Men who ca cannot live alone with God are men who cannot live anywhere else at all. The greatest men God ever built were in the present, or in the, what does that say, desert? Pasture. I don't know. The bathroom back here. Nothing too crazy in there. This is crazy though, the way that it's just, everything's just walked away from. And as you can see, clearly boarded up all the way through. And then you have 
rooms like this that are just full of desks and couches and everything else. And an HVAC from 2008. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise right there. It's a little bit windy outside and I think that's kind of playing with me. Got a smiley face. Right next to the speakers. I mean, these classrooms seem like they're set up for learning still. It's crazy. There's notebooks and stuff on the desks. Okay, so I was like super weirded out because everything is like it, it, especially those classrooms that are put together, it seems like they were like renovated nicely. There's like student names on the notebooks, there's books, there's everything else. So I was like, am I not like, is this not as abandoned as I think I am? It is like, it looks abandoned, but it doesn't look abandoned. Like it's really, really weird. So I was like, well, I felt like I was rushing that first tour through because I, it felt so weird to be in there. But yeah, this place is completely closed. I came back, I did some research. It closed in 2006, so it's been closed for, you know, we're getting up there, you know, almost 20 years, not quite. But man, it just feels so weird in there because it's like a time capsule. You know, those things, especially, I mean, there's pens on the teacher's desks. There's books on the bookshelves, things like that. So um, I got out of there just because I was like, man, I don't want to get, you know what I mean? I don't want to get caught do in a space that I'm not supposed to be. But at the same time, there's no, no trespassing signs. There's no closed signs. There's no do not enter signs. I mean, it's, it's available for the filming. Um, I just had to get myself comfortable to be able to do it. See, when you're on the outside, you're like, very obviously nobody's coming in this front door. You know what I mean? There's even pants at the school. There's like a cool, old, but that's kind of a cool merry-go-round. Okay, so one room that I didn't check out earlier was this library. More of the same kind of abandoned desks and things like that. Millard Fillmore. What are these? Presidents? Notable people. Andrew Johnson, yep. Yeah. Oh, cool, a piano. Look at how many cobwebs and stuff it has. That's crazy. See, this is the kind of stuff that's confusing me because in this classroom, it's all gather here, autumn greetings. We just passed autumn, but at the same time, obviously the school is not in great shape. 
come over here, all these cabinets, nothing's in them. But then you have toys and stuff on the floor, so it's just really confusing to me. But, and everything's dusty in here. Everything's dusty, everything's old. But then there's like a, a break room. I like microwaves. Coffee pots. Computers. Albeit dusty. Somebody's fingerprints are right there, though. You got this room with one student's desk in it. That is so weird and creepy. Why would you just have one single desk right there like that? See, what the heck? These are real. This is real. Just looking around these in here, these are bunk beds. So I wonder if like the kids used to stay here, you know? It seems like, it seems like there were mattresses and things like that. Unless it's a nap room for very young kids. Here's another thing I don't understand because online it says that the school will close in 2006 and that is from 2011. So this is another one of those rooms like I'm trying to get in here and look a little bit closer. And yeah, there's mattresses. This is that room that had the couches in it. Couches, desks, mattresses, tiny chairs. One of the coolest tiny little tables you're gonna see. This thing is neat. These look like bowling pins for the legs. What's up guys? You think that I've been in every, this school's not very big, so I think I've been in every room in the school now. My vibes in here are definitely, it, it's off. I've been nervous this whole time that I've been in this building. I keep telling myself it's just because like, it's weird that there's so much stuff around. So I keep getting weirded out by that, but I don't know if it's that or if I don't know if it's just this building has like a weird, weird energy. Kind of weird vibes, right? Let's play a little experiment here. Let's ask. There's a soccer ball down at the end of the hallway and it's on the floor. I'm wondering if you can move that for me. There are some rumors online that this school is haunted. Um, so I was thinking maybe that's another reason why I'm kind of feeling a little bit weirded out aside from everything else about this that's weird. Please roll that ball towards me. Okay, here we go. Here's donuts from November 22nd. So somebody is working on this building. Um, really weird, I don't know if they set up the classrooms to be functional for right now, because you'd think you wouldn't want your kids running around in this building. But like, that's why the desks are set up. Somebody is working on this. They kind of have to be if they have donuts from three days ago. So clearly that school has a long way to go for whoever's working on it, but it does have creepy vibes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it just feels weird in there. I wouldn't wanna work there. I wouldn't wanna send my kids to there if I was a kid at that school. I mean, like you saw the playground. I showed you guys, guys the playground. It's it's pretty beat up. I can't, the building's dirty. I can't imagine, you know, why they would have kids in there, but I guess they do. So I'm pretty sure that I just like to eat because I'm eating out twice in this video. But this place was recommended to me by a follower actually. So I wanted to try it. It's called the Adobe Deli. 
and it's in the middle of nowhere. Like you go, you got to go outside of Deming and down a dirt road to get to it. And uh, it's like camouflaged out here. So I'll show you guys. There's like a barbed wire fence and camouflage. Dirt parking lot, dirt road, Adobe Deli. Kind of looks like that's converted into a smoker. You get the cat right there. Some mythical money right here. So I didn't realize where I was because this place came as a recommendation. I didn't come down here looking for this place. But this place was actually on Ghost Adventures. So I'm super excited. I'm going to ask him if I can check it out and walk around. But this place is on Ghost Adventures. I remember watching this episode now. Um, and uh, they had quite a bit of evidence. And right here, I'm sitting at the bar. Um, and right here, they actually capture evidence in the show. Also, this looks amazing. Yeah, so I didn't realize like at all where I was when I first came here. And um, this is crazy because this was on Ghost Adventures. And the weird thing is, I think I have crumbs in my beard. <laughs> I got a cookie. Um, the weird thing is like, as soon as I walked into this room, and I remember on the episode of Ghost Adventures, they had a lot of experience with this, this particular photo. As soon as I walked into this room, the temperature dropped like 10 degrees. And I got goosebumps and it feels really, really weird. And I'm not sure which window it was. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the episode. I'm not sure which window it was, but I know that Zach captures like a uh, an apparition walking around or in the window or whatever. But this place is so crazy. This guy's collected some really crazy stuff. And it is absolutely freezing back here. It's so crazy. So this place used to be a school way, way back in the day. This was a school. And then this guy bought it. He turned it into a, a restaurant and a bar and everything. But he collects all this weird stuff. Look at these cool mailboxes. That is cool. So this guy collects all kinds of this weird stuff. So all of the animals and that kind of stuff is actually the owner's. How crazy would it be if a ghost just knocked over that Jenga tower for me? You see me low-key trying to drop hints so I can capture something for YouTube? There's like these three really big safes in the hallway. This might actually be the door that Zach sees somebody like walk out of, basically. So this room does give me the weirdest feeling for sure. Like it's like right around when I get to like right here. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just because I've seen that episode or whatever and that's how it is, but it definitely feels super, super weird. Like right here is where I feel it the most. I'm back outside and the cat's hanging out with me. I wanted to check out the trolley. So they do have this really cool, really, really cool trolley. So if you guys have seen that episode of Ghost Adventures, um, in it, Zach finds these meme breast pottery death bowls. And uh, that really like freaks him out and it triggers a lot of activity. I was thinking to myself, you know, I didn't see those in there, so they're in a different part of the area, obviously. It's been a while since I've seen the episode, so I don't know where they're at, but they're not in the area that you can walk around in in the restaurant. But earlier today, when I was at the museum, I was like a foot away from 50 of those Mimbres Pottery death balls. And so putting that, that together there was just like, it was crazy. And it, there's a weird vibe in that back part of the restaurant. Nothing happened to me back there, but it was, uh, it, you could feel it. You could definitely feel that there was something weird there. And um, yeah, it was cool. I didn't realize where I was. I did not realize that I was I was at that restaurant. When I got this recommendation, I was like, yeah, let me go to this place that, that they told me to go to. Um, and then I got there and I started Googling it and I was like, oh my goodness. So that was a really, really cool experience. And I'm glad that I ended up doing that. Cause I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I brought dinner. I'm not gonna go over there and do that. Um, but you know, you just put it two and two together and being able to experience that was so cool. It was awesome. Oh, and by the way, the food at the Adobe Deli, phenomenal. The steak was perfect, 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 perfect. It was awesome. Very, very good. If you're in Deming-ish, it's like, 
it's probably a good 16 minutes this way uh, outside of Deming um, but if you're in the area that's a place to stop and get some food and experience something different so I am sleeping in the uh, coyote out there so I am sleeping in the parking lot of the school um that i was exploring last time i slept somewhere like this uh i got shot at so <laughs> let's cross your fingers right here cross your fingers that i don't get shot at um tonight while i'm just trying to sleep but there's like that coyote let's see if he barks i don't know if you guys can hear him or not but not too shabby he's being loud he is being loud over there so yeah, hopefully tonight's pretty quiet. Um, it should be relatively warm, especially compared to my last few nights that I've had, but um, I brought my electric blanket just in case I need it, um, just to give me some more heat and everything. But other than that, I'm pretty much chilling for the night, so I'll see you guys in the morning. So well, I had kind of a rough night sleeping, um, nice and warm. And then I had the heated blanket, which helped. So it hasn't even, it wasn't even as cold as it had been the last uh, couple weeks. But then I had the heated blanket, which makes it even better. So I was like nice and warm and cozy. And when I was going to bed, I thought like, oh, I'm going to sleep so good because I'm so warm. Everything is nice back here. Um, but every car that drove by, I was like hyper vigilant. I was like looking out the window, like, are they going to come into the parking lot? Are they going to mess with me or whatever? So I think that uh, um, since I was shot at the other day, um, it just made me super aware of everything that was happening outside of my truck. So, you know, like you can hear that vehicle driving by because there's a pretty busy road right here. Um, you can hear the vehicles driving by. And so, you know, every vehicle that drove by all night long woke me up. So this morning I've got some super coffee, but um, I was drinking it and I was driving and I came over to this uh, historic marker and I found another women's historical marker. So that's two for this. Trip. This one's for Cathay Williams, who was born into slavery, liberated in 1861, worked as a cook for the Union Army during the Civil War. In 1866, she enlisted in the U.S. Army as Private William Cathy, serving with the Buffalo Soldiers at Fort Cummings and Fort Bayard until 1868. She is the only documented woman to serve as an enlisted soldier in the regular U.S. Army during the 19th century. I thought that was for sure worth highlighting. Plus, we got a pretty sweet view right here. I'm actually just gonna chill sitting up here on top of my truck for a little bit. Um, I'm driving back to Hatch because I came out here for that burger i'm gonna get that burger <laughs> regardless even though they were closed yesterday um that dictated my whole trip this week because originally i was gonna go to the gila cliff dwellings and then i was like well i'm that close let me drive down to sparky's and i'll get that that burger i'm gonna get a double obviously double cheeseburger uh, green chili cheeseburger but um yeah that dictated my whole trip that's how i ended up coming down here because i wasn't gonna drive all the way back up since they were closed so uh, I ended up out here, but I still have, they don't open until 1030 and uh, that's going to be about lunchtime. So I'm just going to chill out for a little bit until I can start heading over there. Sit on top of my truck on the side of the highway, drink some coffee, you know what I mean? So I was over there yesterday. There's a, a state park called Rockhound State Park in Deming, New Mexico. So if you guys like to get rocks and geodes and stuff like that, you go out there for the day and any rocks you find you can keep. <laughs> Divorce special, 42 days, only 75 bucks. So my whole video is based on this place. So it's pretty awesome. It's really, really cool. I'm excited to see how the burger comes out because this is the whole reason I came down here. Okay, so first of all, I love that it comes on a McDonald's tray. It looks amazing, and then they give you a fortune cookie. It's a really good thing too for someone like me that they provide napkins at the table because this gets, it just gets so bad, so. <laughs> that looks awesome though, I'm so excited. Oh, it's phenomenal. This right here, why I need the napkins, but so worth it. I'm so glad that I came here and uh, got the double. You have to go with the double. 
She has now been all over the state traveling. And if I'm not eating New Mexican food, I'm usually having a burger and it's almost always a double green chili cheeseburger. This particular one is hands down the best that I've had, without a doubt, the best that I have had. It's huge, it's delicious, the patty, patties are fresh, the chili is good. Obviously I'm in Hatch, like the chili can't not be good. <clears throat> you guys gotta get down here to Hatch two Sparkies and try this double green chili cheeseburger before you die, you have to. My fortune says an admirer is too shy to meet you. Be on the lookout and make the first move. First of all, admirer, I'm the shy one in this relationship, so let's get that straight right away. Second of all, shark, you guys gotta check it out. It, it's so good, so good, so cool. It's an awesome experience. Highly, highly recommend. Oh, so I was editing my video and I totally forgot to sign off. Um, but anyway, made it back home, obviously. I just drove home after Sparky's, so there was nothing else to film, which is why I think I forgot to make the sign off. But regardless, I hope that you guys have an awesome one. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other stuff if you want to do it. Appreciate it.